IIHS and AAA conducted three crash tests at speeds of 40, 50, and 56 miles per hour. These tests were conducted to show how a small change in travel speed can increase the likelihood of being injured if you are involved in a crash. One of the factors that determines the speed of traffic on a roadway is the posted speed limit. We know from research that as you increase the posted limit, travel speeds tend to move higher. And we know from these tests that we just completed that these higher speeds can have detrimental consequences. In the early 90s, the national maximum speed limit was eliminated in the U.S. States immediately began raising posted limits on interstates. Over the past 25 years, this policy change has resulted in 37,000 lives being lost on U.S. roads. We selected the 2010 Honda CRV for these tests. This small SUV is representative of the average age of vehicles on our U.S. roadways. It also received our best rating in the moderate overlap test, which is what we use for this demonstration. We ran three moderate overlap tests at speeds of 40, 50, and 56 miles per hour. As speeds increased, so did the likelihood of intrusion into the occupant compartment and the likelihood of an increase in injuries to the driver. At the highest speed of 56 miles per hour, we saw that the occupant compartment was significantly compromised and there was a likelihood of injury to the facial region, to the brain, to the neck, and to the lower leg. More than a quarter of the traffic fatalities in the U.S. include speed as a contributing factor, and that number has changed very little over the past decade. As we have shown in this demonstration, Vehicle design alone is not going to solve this problem. We also need to focus on the policies and practices that will influence the attitudes and behaviors of drivers with respect to speed. Engineers need to look at how they can design roadways and set speed limits that account for the local conditions of the community and what the intended use of the roadway is. Policymakers need to work with their communities to allow them to use safety tools that we know work, such as speed cameras and high visibility education and enforcement programs. Speed limits have been on the rise in the United States for the last 25 years. Today, 41 states have maximum speed limits of 70 miles per hour or more. Eight of those states have maximum speed limits of 80 miles per hour or more. One of the things we hear most often at AAA when talking to state policymakers about speed limits is that vehicles have never been safer and roads have never been more forgiving. And while that's true, the crash tests you see on TV, those happen at speeds of 35 to 40 miles per hour. That's it, much slower than the speeds we all travel on interstates where we live. Our new research shows pretty clearly that the structural integrity of vehicles today and safety advancements like seat belts and airbags are easily and quickly overwhelmed at just small increases in speed. AAA surveyed road authorities all across the United States, and to our surprise, we learned that speed limits really aren't set in a consistent, best practices kind of way from one state to the next. AAA surveyed drivers all across the country and we learned that a majority of people agree that speeding is a really dangerous thing to do. Unfortunately, many of these same people admit to doing it anyway. The biggest takeaway from this research for AAA is that seemingly small increases in your speed can have a really big impact on the severity of your crash and the likelihood that you'll be able to survive it. 